Okay, hello, it's Mike Rabb with Oracle. Today I want to show you a little bit about deploying at WebLogic a pre-configured containerized stack in the Oracle Container Cloud service. I'm just going to quickly log into my Container Cloud instance here. First thing I'm presenting with is the dashboard. Dashboard's a great way to see my existing deployments, and deployments are running applications uh, that are the result of quickly deploying a, a pre-configured service or a stack. I'll go into that in a second. Uh, I can see my hosts. I've got two hosts underneath it here. These are just compute, compute hosts. This is where uh, the Docker containers are being run. also have the uh, concept of resource pools. I'm not necessarily using them here in today's demonstration as I only have two hosts, but if I did have more, it does allow me to divide up my compute and put it in different uh, logical pools. I can easily create new pools as you can see here but I can I can create pools that represent my CI CD flow or maybe different teams uh, that can work uh, together but work in different uh, compute segments. Anyway back here on the dashboard I do have again the concept of services and stacks. Services are pre-configured container templates, they typically have one uh, image associated in them. If I look at this Apache example here, I can see that <clears throat> it references an Apache uh, image that's available out on Docker Hub and a particular tag. It also has some configuration uh, that's uh, been put in here, like it's configured to be deployed on host uh, port 9001. So that's a service, and I've got a lot of those pre-configured and ready to run within the UI when I, <clears throat> when I have a new instance of Container Cloud Service. But I want to look at stacks real quick, and in particular today, the WebLogic uh, multi-host stack. This stack, if I were to look at it, and again the stack editor shows you a little different view because now I've got multiple um, services here. Uh, each service has its own definition. So if I were to drill down on any of these, I see the in individual service. Again, I see what um, what image and what tag, and I see the configuration of how these uh, you know are going to be deployed. And these uh, services work in concert with each other and are tied together through an overall uh, YAML file shown here and the beauty of a stack is it can be deployed in a click so let's go do that again with this uh, WebLogic multi-host server it also includes a load balancer to deploy it all I'm going to do is click deploy and deploy and this will take the default configuration which is an admin server a managed server and a load balancer um, what's happening right now is that the stack is coming online I see that the admin container is all already running uh, what we're doing though is waiting for the health check to kick in now by default container cloud service has built-in TCP checks there where we can check not only is the container running but is the container responding so in a bit what we're going to do as soon as we see that piece go green I'm going to navigate and let's um, <clears throat> let's explore this. So, what I need to understand is the IP address that the particular container is running on. I can see that here on this host, and I'm just going to go navigate to a new window here, and I'm going to paste that, and I'm going to go <clears throat> um, log into the admin console. And then to log in, I just type uh, WebLogic and the password. And then I'm going to log in. Okay, so I've logged in there, but let's go check and see how that deployment is coming along. So I see the, um, the one managed server coming up here. Uh, we're still waiting on its health check but um, looks like it's coming online and then what what the phase deployment look like looks like within container cloud service is that 
each of these uh, containers will be sequentially deployed one after the other. So um, as soon as I see the health check here, the load balancer will be spun up and then everything will, will check out. But um, <clears throat> let's go see in the admin server if we can see this uh, managed server uh, being reported back. So if I go here, I go into my servers tab, I do indeed see that the managed server is coming up. Now what Container Cloud Service is doing is waiting on that health check. Oh, it just went green. Now the load balancer is going to come online. And as soon as the load balancer comes online, we're going to go just hit the load balancer and then we should see the response from uh, the one managed server. As soon as this comes online, um, well, let's just go find the IP address in the meantime. So I'm going to go <clears throat> here uh, with this IP and let's go to a new tab, paste that in. And what I want to do is I want to be on port 8080 and I want to get the sample data. So if I click that, oh, it came back. Okay, so as expected, uh, the WebLogic uh, one managed server is responding. Of course, that's all we have online. So now what we want to do is go back to our deployment here and real quickly I want to scale the number of managed servers. So in order to do that, all we got to do is change the managed server number to three. I'm going to click change there, change the scaling and pretty much what happens is uh, now the new containers will be started here in just a sec. You just saw that happen. Um, we actually have to pull an image or two. All three containers are up and running. But if you look, I haven't seen the health checks yet. So back here on the samples page, if I hit that load balancer, I'm still seeing the one managed server respond. Now that's a feature here we're not going to add these additional managed servers into the load balancer until we see that they are fully up and running and that they're able to accept traffic. So <clears throat> we're, uh, we're continuing to check. In our first pass we see that they're not yet ready to uh, receive traffic. Again WebLogic server takes about mm, probably a little less than two minutes to come up uh, to be fully operational and to be configured here uh, in this uh, pre-configured stack, but uh, hopefully on the next pass of the health check these will be uh, passed and then added into the load balancer. Um, just a note on the load balancer, the load balancer is updated every five seconds in case there are additions that need to be <clears throat> put into its uh, configuration file. So uh, in the meantime while we're waiting for those health checks to come in, let's go back on the servers page here and refresh that see what we get so that's refreshing and I see the additional uh, managed server but notice uh, even the admin server saying they're not yet reachable so that's cool let's go back here and let's make sure that these uh, these come up and, and come online um, while we're waiting for that, you can see different uptimes here. So you can see the fact that uh, these servers, these managed servers, have been up for a shorter period of time than um, than these. All right. Uh, the other thing that I might point out while we're waiting for that is that <clears throat> the two additional servers were deployed on demo two worker zero each of those and the first one was on worker one so that's a little different as well um, let's just go back to the admin server see what that's looking like up oh, I'm getting an OK on them now it's a little different than what we saw before and going back to container cloud I see that everything's passed I see the load balancer has passed everything is lit up green if I go back to the samples page and hit the load balancer, the thing that I'm going to be looking for here is a response of 
something other than zero in this space right here and I'm seeing a response there I saw a two um, just clicking refresh I see a one so I am indeed getting responses now from all three of my managed servers so this is an easy demonstration of spinning up not only a, a uh, pre-configured web logic cluster but also scaling that and then while scaling it making sure that it's hundred percent operational before we allow traffic to it through the load balancer I hope you've enjoyed this demonstration if you have any questions just uh, go to cloud.oracle.com slash container thank you